Hello together! In this video I want to set up the iPhone 14 together with you. The first thing I have done is just to press the power button on the side so that uh, the iPhone 14 starts and then we, we can see here a big hello. So here it says swipe to start and we just click here on start and then the first thing we do is to um, choose our language. And you can see here you have a whole lot of different languages so we choose here English. And then select your country or region. Normally it, um, it automatically says, okay, here in my region it's Germany, but you can also, if you are uh, English speaking, but in another country, so you can also choose the other country, perhaps India or another, another country. So I'll choose Germany here and then it sets up the language. It takes um, a few seconds and then here you have the quick start. You can, if you have a former um, iPhone, then you can bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to set, uh, sign in and set up. So it's pretty easy but um, uh, I, uh, I prefer to do it from the scratch so I just click on set up manually. So written and spoken languages, the following languages are commonly used in your region and you can see your preferred languages English and German and keyboards English, Deutsch and Emoji. So you can customize these settings so you can just say okay if you want German or not or if you want another uh, language or not. So you can just here uh, change this. This is a little bit different from the former iPhone models that they you didn't have this written and spoken languages so I just click on continue and here you must choose a Wi-Fi network and here this is our Wi-Fi network and now I enter the password okay after I have set up the password and typed it in I just click on join and then it will connect automatically to my Wi-Fi network okay then it like may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone normally it will only take a few seconds but just be calm and just wait until the iPhone is ready. Okay, now here we have an information about data and privacy. You can read this and you can click on learn more, just learn a little bit more about data and privacy. It's a lot to read, so I just click on continue. And here you have the possibility, the, the option to uh, set up Face ID and you can also set it up later. Face ID is um, uh, the, the option that your uh, iPhone can recognize you and to, uh, and to just unlock it uh, while looking at you. So we'll set this up later. So I click on set up later if you want to do it now then you click on continue. So I click on set up later and then I have the uh, option to create a passcode. A passcode protects your data and is used to unlock the uh, iPhone and you have here the passcode options and you can choose a custom alphanumeric code, a custom numeric code, a four digit numeric code or don't use passcode. Okay so I'll just uh, choose don't use pass, uh, passcode. Using a passcode is highly recommended. I know that but I will do a separate video for that. So I will just don't use a, a passcode. Bah, bah, Perhaps you can create one. Okay, okay, guys I, and girls, I will just use one. Okay, a four digit numeric code, and then I will say 0000. This passcode can be easily guessed. Use anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, four times a zero, and then I have my passcode. So it's pretty easy to insert the passcode. Now you have apps and data. Choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this iPhone. Um, remember, uh, earlier we had the option to just transfer everything directly from a phone. So you have this uh, option also. You can restore from a Mac or PC, restore from iCloud backup, move data from Android or don't transfer the apps and data. Since I have most of my data in the cloud, I don't transfer apps and data and I just install the apps again. But you can of course transfer directly from iPhone or restore from iCloud backup. Choose which fits the most for you. So don't transfer the apps and data here in my case and then I have to sign in with my Apple ID. It is very important to use your Apple ID uh, because if you don't have one you cannot download apps and you cannot use the cloud benefits and a lot a lot more. So I'll just type in my Apple ID and if you don't have an Apple ID uh, you, you can just click on forgot password or don't have an Apple ID and re register for a new Apple ID. So it's pretty easy. All right. So I just type in my Apple ID and now I'll type in my password. Okay. After I've typed in my a password, I just click on next. And uh, now it will send an Apple verifi verification code. Okay, so now we have the terms and conditions and of course we can read everything <laughs> again if you have time and nothing else to do. So we just click on agree and then it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Again, it can take a few seconds or a few minutes. Just be calm.
make this your new iPhone. Here's everything set up as you had it on your other iPhone. So apps and data, don't transfer apps and data and the settings appearance. So I can just click on customize, keep your iPhone up to date, get the latest features and so on. So we click on continue. Then you can enable or disable the location services. I would just say, I, I would just say that you enable the location services, otherwise you cannot use uh, maps and other, other things. So enable location services would be good. So set up mobile servers. You can transfer a phone number from a nearby uh, iPhone or scan a QR code. This is when you um, use your eSIM. But of course, in uh, other regions than Canada and USA, you, you just uh, use a physical SIM. So I just set up later in settings. Yes, skip eSIM setup, skip. All right, that's okay. Because you don't need an eSIM, SIM or a SIM card to just set up your iPhone. Then you can um, set up your screen time. For this, we will do another video. This is only uh, to get a weekly report with insights about your screen time. So set up later in settings. All right. And iPhone analytics, you don't need this one. Okay. So you can share it with Apple, but why share it? You can click on don't share. Then the next thing is appearance. Select a light or dark appearance and see how iPhone adjusts depending on which one you choose. Here, here is light and here is dark. Remember that the dark one consumes less energy. So you can choose the dark one if you want, but you can also choose the light one. It doesn't matter. And you can change this later on. So it just changes light and dark automatically. If you are in the evening, then it will change to dark. And if you have a light, environment then light so okay we'll leave this one with light and just click on continue and then you have the display zoom choose i would like to view your iphone or phone zoom shows larger text okay so you can see here if you want to have this one or this one i will choose the standard but if you have problems with your eyes you can choose zoomed so continue emergency SOS. Here's some information, press and hold for emergency SOS, these two buttons, and then it will uh, automatically make an emergency call. You have a crash detection and coming in autumn 2022 emergency SOS. Okay, so I click on continue. And now welcome to iPhone. Swipe up to get started and bam. Okay, right up. You are here, set up mobile device uh, service, not now. And now I'm ready to go. You can see here the settings, very interesting. Um, finish setting up your iPhone iPhone and if uh, this gets on your ner nerves, use this iPhone when sharing your location. Uh, yes, um, and you can just uh, say finish setting up, enter passcode, and then face ID. Okay, and now we say set up later again, and then this information in the settings will uh, hopefully disappear. Yes, and the second one is finish setting up mobile services, and uh, also this you don't have to do it right now. Okay, so just click on cancel, and then it's gone. So everything's fine. My iPhone 14 is ready, and now you can start doing all the other things. In our next videos, we will show you how to insert the SIM card, how to ch um, change the passcode settings, face ID, and so on so forth. I will. Make make a lot of tutorials here for this iPhone 14 and I hope this video helped you a little bit. If yes, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and we'll see you the next time. Bye bye!